We're backstage at NWA New York with... I, I, I don't know how to address you. Whether to address you as Guido, Nunzio, or James Maritato. Well, to be honest, James Maritato was early in my career. And then uh, Little Guido was actually the first name I had that had some... Uh, some coverage and people knew who I was and then Nunzio so you, you take the pick you can call me anything you like James James is fine no, now let's go with Nunzio Nunzio we'll okay with, Nunzio, we'll but let, let's talk about your days in the original ECW you were part of the full-blooded Italians and I want to talk about Tracy Smothers and Tommy Rich I mean in addition to being partners I imagine they taught you a lot about the business that must have helped your career oh absolutely they did by having them with me was great these are two veterans that have been around a long time and uh, actually before that I had uh, J.T. Smith. See, a lot of people think I am the founder of the FBI and I'm not. J.T. Smith was the first full blood Italian. And then as time moved on, I ended up bringing in Tommy in and Tracy and they were just great to learn from, good old school uh, wrestling and took me away from the extreme and taught me uh, certain other things about matches and styles. And you became, well maybe you were this all along, the Sicilian shooter. Well, the shooter came from before I was even in ECW, I wrestled in Japan for UWFI. And I did three years out there and it was shoot style. So that, and I learned, train, got trained by Billy Robinson out there. So uh, that's where the Sicilian shooter actually came through. Now JT, some may look at him and question whether or not he was really Italian. Um, for those who might doubt that, can you vouch for his... I, I can vouch for you, that's one of my cousins and he's full-blooded Italian. From the south of Italy. From the south of no, the south of Italy was uh, Tracy Smothers. Those are those oh. are the southern oh. Italians. We had a lot of Italians in my group. I probably had about seven or eight different partners. <laughs> there you go. Now um, you were a tag team champion there. Twice. In the, just, I'm sorry, twice. Let's not screw this up. No, I, I, I don't want. I, 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 correct me if I say anything wrong, which will. will probably happen at least twice. Um, eventually, you moved on to the WWE version of ECW. How do you look back at the whole experience? Well, I mean, if you look back on my career, I just think it was great just the way things just kind of fell into place and stuff. You know, things change, the business changes. A lot of people didn't like the uh, ECW and WWE, and they say, yo, it's not like the original. Well, it wasn't like the original. Nothing will ever be about like the original. You've got to accept the product for what it is now and not try to compare it to what it was then. So uh, I thought it was great. It gave a lot of guys opportunity, and a lot of guys got a second chance to come and work and get a full-time job in the wrestling business. So I think it was a, a good thing, and, uh, you know, as time goes on, everything fades out, and obviously that's not around anymore, but they got that, that new program, the NXT, and, and that's, uh, that seems to be going all right. Um, you mentioned your background as a shooter. Tell us about, do you have an amateur background in yeah, terms of wrestling? I, I wrestled in high school. I, already, I, did, uh, I was captain on my wrestling team when I was in high school, so when I got trained by Billy Robinson, he didn't teach me how to wrestle. He taught me the submission part. Yeah. I already knew how to wrestle. In amateur wrestling, the object is not to go more than 45 degrees because you could break bones or hurt people. Well, in shoot wrestling, the object is to go more than 45 degrees because that's what it, that's what it is. So he taught me all the submissions and stuff. I already knew how to be an amateur wrestler when I got there. So that's what Billy did. Let me ask you, I guess this a lot of the wrestlers today say set the clock back 10 years when mixed martial arts say it was more popular or more accessible to people than it is right now. Could you have seen yourself getting into MMA back then or is it something you wouldn't have considered? Well, that, well back then I would have. It was a little different. I don't think I would consider it now. But, uh, you know, when I was doing that shoot stuff in Japan, nobody really knew what it was in America yet. It didn't come to America. They were doing pay-per-views that actually had in America. So that was like the beginning stages of UFC. Because I was when I started doing that, I was with Dan Severn. He also worked for our company. That's before he even went to UFC. So everybody was getting all the, we were started out there and then we brought it, it came to the United States. Let me ask you this. That's just a lot of, you've been around a while. You've, you've had a great career. Um, you know, 99% of the wrestlers out there would die to have had the career you did. What, do you see yourself still being in the business 10 years from now in some way being connected like on the promotion side or would you want to move into something else? Uh, I don't know, you know, you can't, I can't make a decision now. Right now I still love the less wrestling business and I'm still in it and I, I do independent shows on the weekends and I'm doing some other stuff uh, right now. So, you know, I, I'll never say never, never say leave the, the wrestling business. I love the wrestling business, I've been around it almost 17 years now. So, uh, you know, if the right opportunity came up, I think uh, guys could be great to learn off of me. So if the right opportunity came up and I can get a job on the, outs uh, on the behind the scenes in, in some type of company, I think I would, be, I would like that. Do you have anything you want to say to the tens of thousands of Italian-speaking fans out there who have followed you throughout your career? Well, I just want to say thank you to all the fans, not just the Italian ones, all the ones that supported me through the years. I think I uh, you know, started in ECW in 95, and I was on TV there for about four years, and then, ECW, I mean, then WB for about six years. So, you know, I, I appreciate all the fans and all the support, especially when I went to Italy and won the belt. The uh, Italian-speaking fans were, went crazy, and that was a good thing. And I thank all the fans the same. Thank you very much.
James Guido Nunzio, one of the great Matt wrestlers of our time. Thank you for your time. Thank you.